Every Monday night, I go to a seminar in a big high-rise bank building. And it's got uh, fluorescent lighting, air conditioning, circulated air, the curtains drawn, no natural lighting at all. And I get sick, really don't feel good the whole two hours I'm there. And then when I get home, I have a hard time sleeping. What's in the pillow that I'm like laying my head on? Polyester, you know, made with like, Lord knows what kind of stuff. I don't sleep at night. Everything, the, the plywood in my house is emitting gases. The, the, the fluorescent lights are blinking. The, the plastic on my car seat. The plastic that I'm drinking my Starbucks coffee in. I mean, it's like, what is all this stuff? Today, there is much to be sensitive to. Unshielded electrical installations can affect the human electronic system. Most off-color electric lighting flows to us according to a pulse, which is like a tedious, rapid, blinking pattern. Almost every human-made material emits some kind of gas that affects people. Carpeting, upholstery, drywall, plywood, particle board, vinyl, plastic laminate, glues and paints, as well as soaps and even cleaning products, are now being found to seriously affect us. The presence of chemicals can weaken our immune systems, which then become more vulnerable to infection and disease. Even in cities with no smog, many inhabitants and workers suffer from indoor air pollution. Symptoms might include memory loss, dizziness, hair loss, headaches, stinging eyes, breathing problems, and skin rashes. But don't expect such sick people to find relief in synthetic, sterile hospitals. According to the Bureau of Labor, a hospital is one of the most dangerous places in which to work. No wonder 10% of hospital patients get infectious diseases inside the hospital. We owe it to ourselves to build safe, non-toxic homes offices, and especially healing environments. I work in this high-rise building, it must be 50, 60 stories high. I drive into this garage, which is buried in the earth. I drive down and down and down. I have my little parking place. And so you think about it, I'm not ever even like touching the real air all day long. It is not just what you eat and think that affects your body, mind, and spirit. It's everything around you. You can actually create or build an environment or a structure or a home or an office that, was, that is completely functional but is yet completely healthy. The Meridian Center in Santa Monica, California was built with environmentally safe materials and a full spectrum lighting system was installed and windows that actually open. Well, I was a patient first and I loved it here so much and would feel so much better just when I would come in as a patient that I told them they had a choice that I was either going to move in or they could hire me. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> Chinese medicine is based on the ancient understanding that human energy flows along specific pathways called meridians. By offering acupuncture, as well as osteopathy in Western medicine, herbal therapy, homeopathy, and hands-on healing, the Meridian Center enhances the successful flow of energy through the meridians of our patients. People here always leave the office relaxed. And the environment here contributes to that, and the therapy here contributes to that. Since the body is affected by the quality of its surroundings, the Meridian Center was built with the German principles of biobiology. Now, biobiology means the study of healthy buildings, or, to put it more plainly, the study of how a built environment affects its inhabitants. It felt 
really good immediately. It just felt um, peaceful and also visually beautiful. We chose to work with the environmental architect Helmut Wier of the Institute for Biobiology and Ecology in Clearwater, Florida. The whole environment, every little part of it, they know that it affects the people who come in, but everything is setting up a resonance. Just as soon as somebody walks in to the clinic, they get a sense that, yeah, this is a place where healing goes on and where I'm being considered. What I have heard very consistently is that people literally love the place. They would like to rent space, so I'm here visiting from out of town and, and I, the hotel's making me sick and I just sleep here tonight. Actually, what's created here is a sacred space. We encourage healing and we teach, not just with verbal advice, but with design and example. Our floors and counters are made of maple and cherry and finished with environmentally safe wax. Our carpeting is made of hypoallergenic nylon with no pesticides, stain repellents or formaldehyde at all. Our ceiling tiles are made of cellulose. The floor linoleum, which is sealed with non-toxic coatings, consists of jute, flaxseed oil, and cork. You can even eat off it. Our Medex particle board has no formaldehyde at all, and we also use plenty of very carefully chosen plants and flowers at least every 12 feet to freshen and clean the air and to enhance our own enjoyment. The health inside a body goes hand in hand with the health of a person's surroundings. The Meridian Center offers an environmental consultation program for anybody at all who wishes to make their home or workspace cleaner and healthier. The, the longer we've been here and the more people hear about us, the more people are coming just to see the office. And so it certainly serves an educational function. I see it as a model for future health care centers because the premises in which it was built on are just so important. Um, not, not complicating medical conditions by creating environments that people can't handle, you know, but really creating environments where it complements healing. As there are meridians in the body, there are meridians in every house and through the planet itself. In addition to the principles of biobiology, the Meridian Center also incorporates the ancient Chinese placement ideas of feng shui. Feng shui is an ancient Chinese art and it links people with their environment. Part of the training that Julian and I received was in China and the ancient Chinese believed that humans, the earth, and the cosmos are all one living, breathing organism. There is no separation between us and our Earth. When we are in balance, it is because energy is flowing easily, not only through our bodies, but also through the land around us, the appropriate landscaping, architecture, and also the interior design of our spaces. As healthcare practitioners, we are concerned with the flow of energy through the meridians of patients and through the meridians of their homes and work environments as well. Feng Shui shows us that a bed in the wrong position can contribute perhaps to problems with relationships or marriage. A desk in the right position might really hasten success in a new career. Objects that move, such as fountains or mobiles, can stimulate energy flow. Heavy objects, such as stones or statues, can stabilize situations. Electrically powered objects, such as a tape player, a computer, or a fan, can, when properly placed, energize an environment according to feng shui proponents. Energy flow can be adjusted by the flow of light through carefully placed crystals or mirrors, and through the flow of sound by carefully placed bells or chimes. Growth can be stimulated by the placement of living objects such as plants or flowers or an aquarium even. The energy of the place is really soothing 
and a lot of people say that even when there's a lot going on for us you know the office is very dynamic and there's a lot happening people will walk in and say wow I just feel so calm here I feel like I can really relax and so that they're already feeling better before they even gone in for their treatment and it's really amazing to me to walk into uh, a room in a high-rise building in the middle of the city and feel like I'm in nature. One other thing I'd, I'd talk about a bit is the colors in the office. Um, the, the carpeting is green. It's not an avocado green. Um, I call it sort of an apple green. But the reason we chose green is that in Chinese medicine, green is the color of the liver and the liver is an organ which harmonizes the emotions so it's a very calming color the liver is imbalanced in just about everyone that i see because the liver is is going to be stressed by the amount of amount people are doing in this urban environment our sign encounter is a large sign encounter it's about six feet wide and it opens onto a large unobstructed sort of window space in the wall that um, gives the patients waiting in the waiting room a complete view of the activities of the administrative area and all of the staff is there and and um, can communicate with the patients and the patients with them but we have included a sense of privacy in that the counter is quite high so when a patient's sitting down on one of our sofas they feel like they're in their own room. And most of the time, the front door is kept open. And our corridor extends out onto a large balcony on the fourth floor of the building. And there is plenty of view of blue sky and clouds and um, fresh air. Now, if I don't have access to um, being outside all day long, at least I can bring a little bit of the outside in. Uh, the air from the outside circulates into the office. When you breathe, you can feel the freshness. The vision that I hold is that uh, this kind of work will spread out and become uh, more and more popular with people so that everyone can have this experience and be healthier in their lives. I feel very, very blessed and very lucky to be part of this healing center. I love it. There's a lot of love here. Hospitals strive to make an environment utterly devoid of germs. The patient's own disease-fighting ability is weakened and damaged. Ancient Chinese doctors, on the other hand, believed in maintaining a healthy terrain or environment. If the inside as well as the outside of a patient is kept healthy, then infection has no opportunity at all to attack. That means that the life force, or qi as the Chinese call it, has to thrive not only in us as human beings, but in our buildings and also in nature. I would rather teach people how to use non-toxic cleaning products eat organic foods and have healthy babies and bring more joy into their lives than to deal with the devastating effects of environmental illness where we have to retrace and clear out the trauma of toxic chemicals and emotional alienation. Of course we work with the latter, but the message I want to get across to the world is do it now. Please don't wait till you're ill to take action. I'm more open now. My self-esteem is very high now. It's just everything is done with heart. I learn how to trust in me. It's like trust myself more. Everything you can tell is done with love. That's it.